what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the studio first of all i just want to say it's a new year and i want to thank the community for helping us hit 1k subscribers you guys are truly amazing thank you for that and hopefully we can keep growing and making this channel bigger and better and yeah <laughs> all right that We're being said i just want to say thank you guys you guys right are amazing carrots, all right onion, so celery, today's and, uh, recipe we are making a etouffee more specifically uh, we're making was, uh, crawfish and shrimp cajun etouffee let's talk about it so we're gonna start off with some homemade fish stock you don't necessarily need to do this you can pick up some vegetable stock or some chicken stock at your local grocery store makes your life a little bit more easier but we like to do our stiff stuff from scratch all right so first of all you want to start with a nice hot pan on stove about uh, medium to high heat you want to add your extra virgin olive oil get that up to temp you want to add your chopped onions we put some fennel celery fresh thyme garlic bay leaf carrots shrimp and crawfish shells from cleaning the shells all right so you want to get some nice color by cooking everything off in your pot get a little bit of nice color on that all right and then when that happening you want to hit that with a little bit of white wine all right cook that down a little bit and when that's when that liquid of the white wine is reduced to more than a half what you want to do is add some water some cold water you want to add it and just fill up the pot when it's till the water comes above Maybe your shells all, all right so when that water comes above your shell what you want to do is bring your pot up to a boil and then bring that heat down reduce it down to a nice simmer and let that just cook nice little simmer for about 30 minutes this is not a beef or chicken stock you don't need that much time to extract all the flavors out of those bones you just need 30 minutes and your your stock should be done after that's done all you got to do is strain off your stock take out all the bones all the veg strain that and you'll have a nice beautiful robust flavorful fish stock Now we're mm. waiting for this to come up to a bo uh, full boil and then we're going to turn it down, let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Oh, wait, that's all we're like. And that's going to be the liquid we use for the stew. Okay, okay. close. Etouffee. Etouffee. What do I go on? Gumbo has uh, chicken and uh, sausage in it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Chicken and sausage. Oh. It looks so pretty. That's how you make a beautiful fish sauce. Shellfish. It is, right? Mm -hmm. Stock is coming along. Yep. For the now, for everybody at home, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. How long do you cook fish stock for? Fish stock, 30 minutes. If it, uh, it doesn't take very long, there's no uh, uh, connective tissues or fats to break down. So, you just try to extract flavor. Yeah, that's a stock. This is carrot, celery, onion, fennel, uh, thyme, baby, uh, peppercorn, and white wine. Now right here you can see that we're rendering a little bit of baking that has nothing to do with the dish. We just had some on the side and thought it would be a nice idea to you know, crisp it up and make it as a topping for our dish. It's pretty good. All right, now that our stock is ready to go, we're gonna start our main dish. We're gonna take a pan on medium high heat. We're gonna add one cup of butter, half cup of vegetable oil. And essentially what we're doing is making a roux, which is one part fat, one part flour. Whole wheat flour. And that's just gonna help us thicken our finished product of this etouffee crawfish dish. Can explain what you're doing. 
All right. Well, I'm adding warming up the oil first, vegetable oil. Then I'm adding the butter so that the butter does not burn as it's melting. As your butter is nice and melted, what you want to do now at this step is add your flour and cook that out. Now that you're cooking your flour out, what you want to do is make sure your pot is on medium and keep an eye on it. What you're looking for is a nice golden brown color on your roux. And after you get that color to stop it from burning or slow down the cooking process, you want to incorporate your vegetables into the pot. Let's add in Now, you stop it. Cooking, we can add in fennel. Celery. <laughs> Onion. But so go ahead and let that cook out on medium heat a little bit. Give us a nice stir. You're going to add in your garlic cloves, your chopped garlic cloves, and your bell peppers. In this next coming step, you're going to cook that out a little bit. Let it sweat. Cook it off nicely. And then you're going to add some Cajun spices to your dish. Cook that down a little bit until it's nice and fragrant. Once that happens, you're going to ladle in a little at a time. A little bit at a time Garlic. your beautiful shellfish stock or whatever stock you have Did in the cabinet with about 50 grams of uh, cajun q set oh 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 turn the heat down to medium okay cook a little bit now that's a uh, medium curry mm -hmm. Now, start right away in the beautiful stock that we made. Turn the heat up behind. Of course, you want to give it a taste, make sure your flavors are nice, um, adjust your seasoning. You can add a little bit more salt and pepper, depends on your flavor palette. A little bit of hot sauce. We like ours a little bit spicier, so we did put some hot sauce into ours. So you, you can omit that if you want, but you'll still get some of that from the Cajun spice, so don't even worry about it. Now, you just let this cook out, give it a stir every now and then so the bottom doesn't stick. Oh, that's a nice color. Uh, Alright, now that you adjusted your flavoring, okay, give that another on. taste, make sure it's just where you want it. And you, the that's consistency you're looking for on this sorry. is more like a okay. stew. Yeah. Um, for your sauce, you know, you want it like a kind of stew consistency. So once you see that, your vegetables are nice and tender. Um, you're gonna add in all your your seafood, which is your shellfish, your crawfish, a pound of each, and a pound, uh, half a pound of white fish. Whatever white fish you're comfortable using, you can chop that up and add that into your pot as well. That's fish. Take a little bit longer to cook in the shrimp. just added our shellfish everything's looking nice and beautiful vibrant oh I wish you could smell this it's so nice 
um that being said we cook some rice on the side that we're gonna ladle this beautiful concoction on top of and we have our bacon bits of course with a little bit for our garnish and we have some chopped green onions as well that we're gonna put on top with all that being said Ooh. give it a taste Ooh. make sure it's nice we like it like we said a little bit more spicy so we're gonna you know add a little bit more oomph to it you know a little bit of oomph <laughs> okay enough of that being said if you guys like and enjoy our food content please support our channel by just hitting that like button subscribing you know every little bit helps and it's free so all it takes is a few seconds out of your your day so <laughs> to support us making these contents and bringing more you of these apparently. beautiful dishes to you just uh and also leave us a comment let us know what you think of the dish and let us know if there's anything else you would change and i just want to say you guys are amazing keep supporting appreciate it our cook today is, goes by the name of AJ. Um, I'll link him in our description below. Check it out. Our recipe will also be um, below, so you can check that out and hopefully create this this recipe by yourself. And yeah, hope you guys come back, and I will see you guys on the next one. Happy New Year. Hold on. What's the verdict? Pondering, pondering, pondering. Pretty good. Get a spoonful <laughs> with the shrimp and uh, shrimp and things.